Tube, welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and I'm the Lancashire Stitcher. Today is Sunday the 9th of October 2022 and this is Floss Tube number 55. If you're new here, welcome. This is a channel mainly about cross stitch but I do include other crafts sometimes and I also talk about the walks I've been on. If you're returning, welcome back. It's lovely to be chatting with you all again. I do have quite a lot to show today but not much stitching um as you'll see when i get on to it you may notice this shelf here it looks rather empty um I, w I did a talk um the other night about my cross stitching to the trefoil guild um that's a group of ladies who have used to be involved in girl guiding and they asked me last year if i'd go and talk to them this year about my stitching so I took all this stuff with me I, I took this picture here as well um, but all my pictures I've put back up where they belong but all the little bits are still in the box I've been so busy this week it's been ridiculous so I've not had a chance to fill this shelf back up again so it will be filled up by the time I do my next video um, but yeah this, this last week has been just chaos um, there's been so much going on I've had like at least one thing every day some days I've had three or four things going on um but yeah it's just been total chaos so yeah <laughs> normal service will resume next week i think i hope so yeah so let's get started then so the first thing i'm going to show you you'll have to excuse his appearance because he's in the middle of being fully finished um but i've actually finished the stitching on a fine pair the snowman uh, by the needles notion um, and I finished it and I was hoping to get having finished to take to the talk I did the other night but I didn't manage it so as you'll see this is him as he is as, as he is at the moment so that's his body um, and he, I've put the sticks in for his arms so that's him I've still got open at the bottom um, but yeah and he's just got felt on the back and then we've got his little hat which isn't finished yet i've just cut it out so there's his hat and then we've got two little mittens so i need to finish those so hopefully by the next video i'll have actually finished him <laughs> so yeah so he's he's on my table ready to be finished so that's my, my snowman um right so let's get on to whips i've not worked on lady of the flag at all on the last two sundays last sunday i was on a coach ramble that i'll talk about later the sunday before it was just busy uh, my son came over and yeah i just didn't get a chance to stitch on her so i am stitching on her today when i've done this video so yeah so we're going to start with royal holiday by mirabilia Stitching this as part of the USNZ Royal Holiday Sal, along with Amy Globetrotting Stitcher, who's finished it, Sarah Stitch Addict, who's finished it, Nancy Duquette, Kate the Scottish Stitcher, and Andreas. So, yeah. And I don't think I worked on her this Wednesday because I was just so busy. Like I say, I had several things going on. I shall close the fabric up a bit and um, there we go so i've been working on a dress as you can see at the bottom filling in that brown all those different browns uh yeah so i'm quite happy with how she's coming along this fabric is 32 count dusky rose murano regana by paul stitches and she's looking rather cre creased up because she's been in the bag for two weeks near enough so yeah she will get out this week and she'll get stitched on so that's Royal Holiday. And then my next whip is my Mill Hill Monday piece, which is To All A Good Night, part of the A Visit From St Nick Quartet. And as you'll see, again, I've not done much on this. Where's my board? I did have a board out, where's it? Oh, it's there. Well, there's a bit of a board, that'll do. There we go. Right, so as you can see, um, I've done a bit more of the sleigh here and I've started on Santa's sack. So, yeah, not much done on that one this time. Again, because I've been so busy. So, yeah. It's just like everything's happened all this week. You know, I've had, I've had a, a week or two of not much going on and then this week it's just all 
happened. So yeah. And my last whip is Enchanted Alphabet by Lavender and Lace. Uh, this is one of my Letters of the Month pieces. And it's also one of the pieces I'm working on on the um, 24 Hours of Cross Stitch monthly challenge that I'll talk about in a minute. And I'm doing it exactly as charted, except for the little girl in the middle that I'm giving a blue dress. <clears throat> and I'm also going to change the colour of the ribbon because in that picture, the, the ribbon is shades of blue. So I'm going to change it. I'm thinking about yellow, but I'm not sure yet. So... <clears throat> I've done my goal for the letters of the month and that is how much I've got done. So the little girl, let's fold her up so you can see her. Um, I've managed to finish her head. I've done her head and there's a, a ruffle here. And then I've done a little bit of the, pi, pi, the pin, pinafore and then there's a little bit of blue there at the bottom of her dress. So yeah, that's what I've worked on this time. But yeah, she's just cute. So yeah, so that is as much as I've got done. This fabric is, I think it's 32 count, Cotton Clouds by Crafty Kitten. But yeah, that's Enchanted Alphabet by Lavender and Lace. And there are my whips, as I said. Not much stitching done. Oh, shocking me, really, but yeah just been chaotic so let's have a look at my plans so as I said last video I'm gonna have a go at doing the 24 hours of cross stitch um a cross stitch challenge so this is October's and it's friends who count so the all the letters are down there and you match up either the name of the design the designer or something in the design that goes with that letter so and then you give yourself a goal <clears throat> so friends who count so the letter f is firefly fairies by lavender and lace this is my other letters of the month piece so i've managed to incorporate both my letters of the month into this so yeah and i showed it last time I've not worked on it yet. That's my progress. And I've got a goal of six hours for, for the letters of the month. And I've put the same goal on my acrostic challenge. So that's Firefly Fairies. And then the letter R is Random Thoughts by The Drawn Thread. Um, this is also being stitched on as part of the Ida U Cell by Marnie's Mixed Bag. And I really need a board. Let's get the board out the bag. Right. I think I showed this last time too. That's my progress. And I've got a goal of doing this row. So the next row along I'm going to get done for my um, acrostic challenge. So there we go. That's that one. And then the letter I is I am a stitcher by Cherrywood Design Studio. And I've got a goal of four hours on this one. And that is what I've got done so far. I did this last month, a couple of months ago as part of my letters of the month. Yeah. There we go. It's, I am a stitcher. Um, the fabric, I'm, I'm not sure what that fabric is. Can't remember. I do have it written down. I'll tell you when I stitch on it. Um, the letter N is Nativity Sampler. Uh, early Nativity Sampler by the Victoria Sampler. Burn me. And that is how much I've got done and I've got a goal of four hours so yeah that's that one and then the letter D is dream which is by just another button company in the art to heart series okay 
and oops let's fold this fabric so you can see what it is this fabric is haunted cashel 28 count from i think it might be picture this plus but i'm not certain see a big crease down the middle that's my progress so far let's open that out there we go so that's dream and then s is simple gifts grace by praiseworthy stitches stitching this as part of the praiseworthy stitches sell too um let's get the fabric. It all nicely folded up and then I've just picked it up and all the fabric's dropped. So there we go. That's how much I've got done of that. And this is just 32 count antique white Belfast linen. So yeah, and that's got a go of four hours too. So that's that one. And then W is When Life Is Done by Silver Creek Samplers. I stitched on this um, while I was away when I went house sitting and that's how much I've got done so far. Again, a go of four hours on this. Yeah. I think this was just a grab bag piece of pole stitches fabric. Um, there we go and then do, no I've done W H is Halloween Sampler by Cottage Garden Samplings and this fabric is I've written it down 32 count vintage grey Belfast linen and that's this has been in the bag for a while so it has got creased up there we go that's what I've got done so far we'll get rid of the string there we go. Yep, that's that one. And then O is Owl Scarnu by Barbarana Designs. I've not stitched on this for a while. And I've got a goal of one corner repeat on this. So and I, basically one of these, a corner. So I should have three corners done. And that's that one. I have a T at the top, so I know where the top is, so the stitches are all going the right way. And there we go. That's Owl Scarney. And this is just 32 count antique white Belfast linen. Um, C, I've gone for a Christmas design for the C, and I've picked Santa Berry Pudding by Shepherd's Bush. So... This is one that I got from Nimble Thimble and it's not too far off a finish but I have put a four hour go on it just in case I don't get to finish it off and that is what I've got done so basically I only need to do um, there's like a house at the bottom and Santa and a tree yeah Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so we'll see if I manage to get that finished and this is being stitched just using DMC threads even though it's charted for number 5 pearl um, but yeah I just use DMC and just use different number of threads there we go that's that one this this fabric is 18 count floor but um, same that I use for the shepherd's bush stockings that I stitch. Um, the next one is O, and I've gone for Olivia Ochre Leaf by Silver Creek Samplers, and I've got a goal of four hours on this one. And this was a grab bag piece of pole stitches fabric, and that's what I've got done so far. It's an opalescent fabric. There we go. So that's what I've got done so far. Hope to get a few more lines of writing done. Um, U 
is going to be Up on the Rooftop by Glendon Place. I bought this as a part kit from Nimble Thimble. You got the specialist threads um, and the fabric. Um, it calls for 28 Kent Crystal Helix Cashel Linen by Picture This Plus, which I'm assuming is the fabric I've got. And that is what I've got done so far. Another goal of four hours. So at least I should at least get the blue all the way around this star done. Nice fabric, opalescent fabric. There we go. And then N, I've gone for Nora Corbett's Foxglove. Um, this has been a whip for a while, and I just and I do like the design. It's just I never stitch on it. I need to keep getting her out and stitching on her. I'm not sure what the fabric is, I can't remember. I probably have it written down somewhere. I'll tell you when I stitch on it. And that is what I've got done so far. Oh, in fact, I do have it written down. 28 Count Dawn Chorus by Paul Stitches. I'm presuming it's Lugana. There you go. Yep, yeah, that's Foxglove. And then the last one is T, and I've got Thomas's stocking. This is the stocking I'm hoping to do for my second grandchild, my second eldest grandchild. Um, again, this is being stitched on 18 count Flober using number five pearl, DMC, and that's how much I've got done so far. And I've got a goal of four hours. There we go. So they're my plans for October, even though we're already on the 9th. But like I say, it's just been chaotic this week. But um, with only a four hour goal, I can get it finished in two days max. Um, so it shouldn't be too bad. So there are all my plans for this month. <clears throat> and then, oh, what have I got? Oh, giveaway. Giveaway winners. So last time I had two giveaways and I've not got them ready. Oh, dear me, where have I put them? They're there. Under all this stuff that I've Right, so we had number one, uh, Merry and Bright, Be Merry and Bright by the Scarlet House. And then number two was Christmas Joy by Shannon Christine Designs. So the winner of number one is Stephanie Wingett. So congratulations, Stephanie. Message me with your, or email me with your address and I'll get that in the post to you. And then... The Christmas Joy number two, the winner of that one is Julie Evans. So congratulations, Julie. Again, message me, email me with your address and I'll give it in the post. Um, I do have another giveaway at the end and I'm giving away two again today. So, yeah. Right, let's have a look at my crochet. I've not shown it for a while. I've not really done a lot on this. Um, I do it at the library on a Friday. Um, but, yeah, it's not, not much going on but i have done a couple of rows on it so there we go that's it so far um i've nearly run out of the ball of yarn but i do have another ball so yeah that's my shawl so, there we go and then on friday the lady who um got me crocheting the, the squares and you might remember i've showed you a, a sheep square granny square and a panda granny square and that lady came on friday she hadn't been for a while for various reasons and she's made all these crochet squares they look, they look fantastic so yeah i keep thinking i need to do some more so that's my crochet <clears throat> okay so walks Shall I do walks or shall I do stash? Let's do stash. I'll do stash. So I keep forgetting to show these. It's I bought these before I went house sitting. Um and I it was I also bought the um 40 count ballet slippers by Fox and Rabbit that I've started stitching gathering acorns on that I showed a couple of weeks ago. Um and I, I bought them and then they just got put in my fabric box and I've forgotten about. And then I thought, I've not shown those. So I bought three lots of Fox and Rabbit fabrics from Patchwork Rabbit. Um, <clears throat> they're, both, they're all pretty neutral shades. 
but yeah um so i got the 40 count ballet slippers this one is 32 count mayflower so that's quite a it's like a, a, a very pale beige and then i got 32 count paperback which is lighter slightly lighter than the other one but yeah and um, they're just um fat 16 so they're only small pieces and i did buy them for a particular design but i can't remember which one's now but anyway so i've got them <laughs> i'm good at that i'll think oh yeah i'll get fabric for this and then i forget what i've bought it for so yeah yeah it will come to me eventually what i've actually bought them for but yeah that's my that's all the stash i've got this past two weeks um but yeah so walks i've done three walks in the past two weeks on the sunday after our last no the tuesday after i filmed my last video i went on a five and a half mile walk to hay hall hay hall is a stately home um down near wigan and there's a, a big woodland around it with where they've put different activities now um and we walked there and it was an, a nice day it was a nice walk quite a flat walk so it was quite nice um it was just an afternoon so yeah that was nice i'll have put pictures up to show you and then on sunday last week i went on the coach ramble um i missed last month's coach ramble because i was aware um this this month we went to coniston which is in the lake district and i did an eight mile walk um we went to look around the bottom of coniston old man which is a hill a big hill um and we went round a little hill called the bell and we passed some old copper mines um and yeah it was a nice walk again it was a nice day um overcast with a breeze so it was perfect walking conditions um so that was a lovely walk and then yesterday i went on a walk with a local group um we went to a place called belmont which is just down the road from here and we walked along spitler's edge now spitler's edge is a it's it's basically a, a track where they've put slabs of stone down so it's not too boggy because it's really boggy on the moors um and it goes from near winter hill which is where a television mast is around here we go we went along it to great hill which is where spitler's edge stops um and on top on the top of great hill there's a, a seated area you can there's like a little walled seated area so you can sit down and then we walked back across to where we'd park the cars so that was a nice one it was very boggy my boots got wet through so yeah this stuff with newspaper right now and um, drying out um but yeah it was a really nice walk and then we went to the pub and i had a coffee so yeah it was a, 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 a really nice walk again so yeah it's nice to be getting out walking again um so yeah um so they're the walks i've done um again not done as many as i'd hoped to but life <laughs> but yeah it's good to be getting out again so yeah i think i think i've talked about everything i wanted to talk about i've been, gone off my list so yeah all i need to do now is my giveaway so again we'll have numbers one and two um and i've gone for christmassy wintry type designs so number one is going to be let it snow by historical sampler company yeah and it's just the chart it's all bird houses um it's charted for dmc or anchor you can use either um so yeah so that's number one historical sampler company and then number two let me check what this one is i think it's just yeah, it's it's just charted for dmc and it's just one color and it's red work snowman by imaginating so this is number two 
So as you can see, there's a lot of detail in there. So if you'd like to win number one or number two, all you need to do is write the digits one or two in your comments and then you can put both if you like but please put the digits don't write both <laughs> um and then i'll draw them out before my next video and again i've not looked what oh i know when it is i'm actually going to a retreat in two weeks time so i don't know if i'm gonna actually get to film that weekend i'm aware the 20 21st to the 23rd of august of october at the not only but also mirabilia retreat again um so that's the weekend i should be filming so i'll probably not film that weekend i'll probably film when i come home on the monday so we'll say comment before the 24th of october i'll try and do a video of things at the retreat um or at least i'll take lots of pictures and then um i'll do a video on the monday um, so it'll be a bit later next time so yeah please comment before the 24th and then I can draw it on the 24th Whew, I think that's about it today I really need to tidy up in here this this room's um, you don't see it you don't see the mess that I can see <laughs> but yeah I need I need to sort this room out again um but yeah it's just messy at the moment but yeah so I think that's it for today Seems to have, no, nearly half an hour, not, not so bad. So, <laughs> so, have a good two weeks. Take care of yourselves and those you love. Be kind always. Happy stitching and bye for now.